uh, uh, a question for, for Chris. Um, within the page um, to a resident, there's uh, an answer to a question regarding the opening hours, confirming that uh, it will generally be from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., seven days a week. Um, it's also quoted that the public house is open seven days a week until 11 p.m. Is, is that roughly what the advice would be on, on opening hours? I understand that support is intended, however, we can't control that <coughs> that we actually do that because there is no restriction on the opening hours of the premises. So that isn't, just to clarify, you said earlier, usual premises do not require planning permission, and it's not within our remit as to the opening hours. Can I just clarify that? I wouldn't be deciding on those things. Correct. Thank you. Councillor Gifford. Any further questions for the officer, please? No? Right. Uh, we do have uh, Councillor Gifford and Councillor Gifford. Yes, thank you. Uh, Councillor Gifford, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Councillor Gifford. Um, I'm not sure what the opening hours is for the Council of Gifford. Thank you, Councillor Gifford. Thank you, Councillor Gifford. Thank you, Councillor Gifford. Thank you, Councillor Gifford. Just, I presume that what's been said that the opening hours will be 6 to 11. We can take that as well. As far as I'm concerned, we don't know at the moment. It depends who the property is selected, whether people want the 9 or 6. If it's unit 1, maybe longer hours because that may be under like a local convenience so as far as I'm aware from the planning. But the other two smaller units could be hairdressing units, so it could only be.
evidentiary objectives are also compromised in this case. Uh, notably, C1, C6, 5.11, 5.12, policy column 1, 
mixed grocery items in particular, uh, and it's under a certain square foot yardage, which this site will be on all three units, uh, can take a control 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They are not restricted. Um, but it depends on what use the units are actually going to be. But if it's grocery, even in a loose sense, then it can trade for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's the law that was changed, and that's the consequence of changing that law. Um, you know, when people have a hand up for, we want to go shopping on a Sunday, this is the consequence in the communities. Thank you. Um, I understand the residents' concerns. Um, I was concerned when I started uh, to see windows being put up and closed and everything like that was going on without uh, planning permission of any sort. My greatest concern is echoing open <coughs> times. Okay, it might not concern us, but Historically, there was an off door there and it had to be closed before, years ago, because of antisocial behaviour. The police had it closed down. So I'm looking to the future, someone opening up um, any type of grocery store, obviously, to come back again for, uh, for an alcohol licence and uh, so be the one with the ready dance again. It seems as though they've given permission here for something that is like giving permission for a paper bag, but you don't know what the paper bag contains. Councillor <clears throat> Yeah, I, I, I've looked at this one closely, Chair. I, I, I don't live in that area, but I did make it my business um, to go and look around uh, the area where the public house is. Um, I was going to say I'm totally confused, but I'm usually totally confused. <laughs> but I, I, I have read the papers, I've read the objections that have uh, been um, tabled, and whilst I understand the concerns of the residents, um, taking the advice of officers um, that the use of premises does not require uh, any. <coughs> Um, I will be voting in favour of uh, approval. Yeah. Any further comments to be made? Not much so. Right. The recommendation is to approve this application. Can I have a show of hands, please, all those in favour? Ten. All those against? Two. Can I vote against the call, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. 